Hi Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your July 7th to the 13th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people, so thank you so very much for doing so. And if you are interested in a private reading, a private yeah, a private personalized meditation or a healing, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's linked in the description box below. And as always, the cards will tell you what you need to know, not what you want to know. Let's begin. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. Fantastic. Okay, Cancer. We are crowned with temperance reverse. So this is Sagittarius energy. Time frame November 22nd to December 21st. Yeah, <laughs> December 21st. So if we have Sagittarius energy in our chart, if we have Sagittarius energy in our life, we may not be getting on with it as well as we would like to. So being mindful about this is going to be really important, but also there's a sense of being out of balance. We are in cancer time frame, and sometimes when we're in our own time frame, it can be a little bit more intense than we want it to be. We can find it to be easier to be in, you know, winter time frames than in in summer time frames. So just being aware of that can be really important here. There is also a need to come into balance, come into harmony with yourself. Something is out of balance. And also there's like something that you need to find the truth of that you need to dive deeper into. That's going to be important as well. Then we have the King of Cups. So we're represented by the cups in the minor arcana and the King of Cups is reversed. So here we can get in our own way. We can be like hyper feeling during this time, especially if we are empathic people. Oh my gosh, we can just be hit by the emotions and the emotions and the emotions of people. So just be aware of this during this time. We lead by emotional example, but if we are emotionally exhausted, it is going to be very hard. It moves us then to the nine of cups reverse. We have had our cross our fingers, you know, I wish for X, Y, Z, you know, around us. And we're not going to see it come to fruition the way that we thought it would. Spirit, excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> Spirit is making it clear that just because you don't, just because it's not coming to fruition the way you thought it would, or in the time frame you thought it would, it doesn't mean you'll never get that wish. So just being mindful about this is going to be super important. We are also looking at others to kind of like come to the table with us, come and connect with us. And we can be feeling a little bit lonely right now. So just being aware of that is going to be important. We then have the six of swords in the upright position. You are the first ones to have the six of swords in the upright position during these readings. Everybody else is needing to slow down and, and wanting to go super, super fast. Here, it's taking our knowledge. It's knowing what we want and slowly, steadily, carefully moving things forward. So that is really nice. It's like, it's a good speed. We then have, oh, well, then we have the chariot reverse. So we have ourselves here, the chariot. This represents us in the major arcana. We have the king of cups, which represents us in the minor arcana. The king is the most powerful of the court cards. So we have ourselves really getting in our own way around our power. Here, this is wanting to go fast. So as much as the six of swords is like, okay, slow, steady. Intellectually, we know this, but emotionally, we want to hit the gas pedal. We want to move forward so fast, like, you know, jump every hurdle, do all the things. So just be mindful about this, especially when it comes to, to driving or automobiles, not to freak anybody else, anybody else, anybody out. This is like slow, steady. That's going to be really important during this time. The chariot reversed is needing to get the reins on things, right? Things are out of balance. We need to get a rein on our emotions. If we have other cancer energies in our life, they can also be emotionally just all over the place. One is going to be worse than the other. So just being mindful about this during this time is going to be very important. We are very stubborn. <laughs> so with the two of swords reverse, we are very, very stubborn. We're going to be like, no, it has to be just like this. There needs to be a bit more fluidity with our plans, with our you know, way of looking at things. It's not all A and it's not all B. So just be aware of that, that our stubbornness, you know, it's going to be good for us. You know, it gets us far, but it can also be that we don't see a, a greater gift that's coming our way. With the Ace of, 
of wands. This is a gift, and this has come up a lot during this time, that there's a gift from God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, from, from those who have passed, from our ancestors, from those on the other side. And this is a gift of moving forward and of passion and of fire and of tenacity and of beauty and of brilliance and of really letting ourselves shine. So that's going to be a very important thing during this time. But this is letting our fire come forward and letting us, you know, not be afraid of saying, this is my passion. This is me. It moves us to our spirit message energy. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, please put a sun in the comment box below. A person will be will be chosen at random and announced at random. So good luck to everyone. And hit the bell notification if you would like to be notified when that announcement is made. Because it will be through a video, not anywhere else or any way else than on this channel. So just be aware of that. Okay, we have the duck. And it says, find comfort and balance in the simple ways. You have support all around you. So here with that reverse, we're not finding balance and comfort in the simple ways. We kind of want things to be bigger and grander, or we want things to move faster. And and Spirit's like, no, remember that slow, gentle pace. We'll get it every now and then during this week. We're like, oh, this is really nice. And then something will happen. And we'll just like be like, oh, I have to go faster. I have to do more. I have to hurry up. And that's just going to knock us out of balance. We need to be in harmony with ourselves, starting with emotional harmony. And, you know, Cancer, we are fantastic at connecting with emotions, but this is a time of intense emotional fluctuation, right? And this is a time of intense emotions. So knowing that we need to be in balance with that, and we need to be checking in with ourselves, and we need to be kind of like taking it a little bit slower and being kinder to ourselves, that's going to be important. It moves us then to our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly, guide this reading and show me clearly. This is personal power. This is a solar plexus chakra. And we're going to see that our gut, like in our gut, we know our, that we are powerful. In our gut, we're connecting with our power, our tenacity, and ourselves. And that's going to be a very good thing. And that's going to be a very big thing for us. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is the hangman reverse. We're doubting ourselves. We are different. Like we're different. If you've stumble across this channel. If, if you're here, you're, you're different than everybody else. You know, you, you kind of like have a different way of looking at things and you're going to be thinking, you know, should I change this? <laughs> like, should I be more like everybody else? Should I be following that path? And spirits like, why? <laughs> like, why would you do that? So just be aware of that, that we're going to be doubting ourselves and it's going to be completely normal. It's actually very normal for this time frame. So being aware of that is important. With temperance, we need our balance. We need our harmony. We're out of balance. We're out of harmony with ourselves. Temperance in the right away Smith deck, you know, here she's she's pouring two, two jugs into each other, right? And in the right away Smith death deck, it is an angel that's doing so. And so we're pouring in our emotions, our blessings, ourselves. And when we're out of harmony, we're also out of harmony with what the divine has given us. So just being aware of that and slowing things down is going to be like the most important thing we could do during this time to help get us in balance. And yet it's going to be the last thing that we want to do. We want to speed everything up with the king of cups. We lead by example. And if we're emotionally all over the place, that's going to come forward. So just being aware of this during this time, stepping into ourselves, letting ourselves embrace our sacred masculine energy, seeing the beauty in that sacred masculine energy and taking our power, taking our tenacity and moving ourselves forward is going to be very important. There's a wish that we have. We're not going to get it exactly the way that we thought we would. It's not going to be a bad thing. It's just going to be a different thing. But we are very stubborn. We want things to be a very certain way during this time. So just be mindful about that. Spirit is trying to make us or is going to make us bend and, and, you know, kind of sway like a willow during this time. Moving forward in our knowledge, slowly, carefully, and with, you know, confidence in ourselves, but also like that bit of like, keep your eyes open for everything. That's going to be important. With the chariot reverse, our emotions can be everywhere. Meditation is going to be one of the most important things that we can do for ourselves, whether it's, you know, going out for a run or sitting, you know, cross-legged and meditating. It doesn't matter. Embracing meditation is going to be one of the most important things that we can do. We can also, you know, have a bit of self-sabotage here 
during this time, we can be our own worst critics. We can get in our way. We can have things that we want to do. And then we're thinking, oh no, like who am I to do this? It's like, well, why is it that everybody else can, but you can't, you know, or why is it that others can and you can't? We are going to be stubborn. Like just know that about ourselves, that we have to, again, get out of our own way and and not think, oh, it has to be just like this. The rigidity is going to hold us back. And it brings us to the Ace of Wands. This is gifts from spirit coming forward, our ancestors, those who have passed on the other side. And I always get that with the dragonfly, that beautiful message. And there's also the sense of like embracing your fire, embracing your passion, living in a way that's exuberant and bold and, and proud and beautiful and letting yourself shine. That's going to be very important. Don't, you know, water extinguishes fire, right? Fire can boil water, right? And evaporate fire. So both fight to kind of like put out the other one here. And it's letting us move in harmony with our fire and with our emotions, with our passion and, and with our sensitivity. It's embracing the two of them and finding that beautiful balance. It moves us then to our subconscious spirit message. And this is the, I don't know how to say this bird's name. <laughs> Should I look it up? Yes. Oriole, I believe is how you say it. And it says a new creative venture is on the horizon. See it as a positive change. And, and that's just it. A new creative endeavor is opening up. See it as a positive change. We're going to want things to be our way. And spirit during this time, because we do have that stubborn streak in us, right, is going to be throwing us curveballs to say, well, what about this? And what about that? What about my way? You know, it's almost like we're getting into a bit of a fight with the universe. So it's going to be my way. And the universe is like, no, it's going to be my way. So just, just be aware of that. It moves us then to our chakra energy, which is peace, the crown chakra, embracing peace, embracing meditation, embracing, you know, slowing down, calming things down, opening our hearts, you know, balancing ourselves is going to be really, really, really important. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is the star. And when we're told to be mindful of the star, because our emotions can be all over the place, we can have this, this sense of like things are bigger than they are, right? So when the stars, we're being told to be mindful of the star, it's Aquarius energy, time frame January 20th to February 18th, but be mindful of the delusion of things. Thinking things are a heck of a lot worse than they are. You know, thinking things are are more like, you know, oh my gosh, it's, it's going to be horrible than it is. Now we can't have the flip side of thinking things are better than they are, right? But I see it more going towards the calamity than towards the like overabundance. So just being aware of that, that we can, we can really be our own worst enemy at times. And it moves us then. Oh, that is so funny. This also happened with Gemini that, you know, the cards were the same. So here it's the star that is our, our connection, you know, our spirit message from the tarot. And these are our dreams. So this is our soul's purpose. This is why we're here on this earth. It's not to get caught up in the illusions of everybody else. It is to say, this is me. This is what I want. This is who I am. This is how I'm opening up to my passion to what I love and to where I need to be, to who I am and what I dream of. This isn't the cross your, ring, your, your fingers wish, right? That's a small wish. This is your soul's purpose wish. This is why you were creative, why you were created and why you are created, creative within yourself. So here, this is big. This is knowing that divinity is listening to you. This is knowing that your angels are connecting with you. This is knowing that you are powerful and you are purpose, all right? All right, Cancer, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Cancer, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.